Welcome back to another video. My name's Thomas Gelder. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you want. Well, to something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Well, wow, that was pretty great. So today we're going to learn the 90s VHS look. This is very simple to create and it's a very popular effect right now. There's so many music videos, so many films being made this way right now. Um, so I feel like it's very appropriate to give you this effect. So as you can see, it's not too complex. Now there's many reasons why you want to use this effect. If you're shooting a short film or a music video that is in the olden times, then this effect is definitely going to counterbalance the effect that you're trying to create. So less of the talking, more action. Let's get into the editing suite and see how it's done. So once we've got our clip, we want to go to the video effects, go to noise and grain, add some noise, go to the effects control and bring this up to around 8 to 10, however you're feeling it. I mean, you don't want to bring it any more than 29 because it gets a bit too grainy. And to me, that just looks unrealistic. Now, as you can see, it's very subtle, but if, you, if I zoom in, you can definitely see the grain. Now, what else I like to do is add the noise HLS. This makes you have the freedom to mess with the hue, lightness, saturation, and again, noise phase. So once you've added noise HLS, add the grain, and then mess with the hue, how much you want it. This is gonna mess with the reds and all the hue colors. So what I like to do is bring it to around 12. And then with the lightness, how much noise you want to introduce to the light. Now the saturation is how saturated you want the noise to be. But for me, I want to give the desaturated look. So I'm going to keep this one at zero. So what you're going to do from here is go to color correction. Go to the color correction and grading. Go on basic controls. And then what you want to do is add a little bit of saturation to 15. Bring the shadows up by 5. Bring the whites up by five, depending on how well exposed your footage is. But for me, this is what I'm doing for my footage. And I bring the black to minus three. Now what else I'm gonna do is go on creative, add a faded film look. So bring this to around 18. Sharpening, bring that up to 15. You want it to feel like a camcorder look. So camcorders used to be very sharp and it used to be grainy and it had that faded film look. So this is what we're trying to replica. We wanna bring the vibrance down by five. So you want to bring the saturation down to 90 or you can have it black and white. It's totally up to you guys. Now what you can do is come to curves and mess around with the curves a little bit. Bring down the shadows and bring up the highlights. I'm pretty happy with how the colour looks at the moment. Maybe come down and mess with it. vignette. Add a little bit of that into it. Mess with the roundness and how you want it. So how you can see this effect really come to place is by bringing the feather down to zero and I'd want the circle to be there. So what I'm going to do now is bring the feather up and as you can see that makes it blend in much more smoother. So what I'm going to do from here is duplicate my clips three times and what I'm going to do is bring the opacity to 50, add the scale to 101 to the top clip. It's going to create that RGB split look. So what I'm going to do now is go to blur and go on channel blur. And what I'm going to do here is just mess with the red, blue and green. So let's bring the reds up to 15. Maybe a little bit more. 25. Do the same to the clip below the top one. Bring that to 50. Bring this one to 99. Again, add channel blur. And this time around we want to mess with the blue. So let's mess around with the blue. And as you can see it's very subtle. You don't want it to be too much. It's just very subtleness we can see here. And then for the bottom one. Same again, bring to 50, to 1 or 2, scale, and this time round we're going to mess with the green. Bring the green to 15. As you can see, it's creating an RGB split look. To make this even more effective, you can add some crop bars. So go to New, Legacy Title, come down to the box section, add some boxes to the side to make it add that film crop look. Make sure the bars are black. Now what this does is... It makes your footage seem like it's actually coming from a camcorder. So what I'm going to do now is add some stock footage that I have got from YouTube, which are free to download. The links will be in the description. Just to add that realistic look, add a little bit of static to it. So with the link below, you get a massive package full. So what I'm going to use from that package is the VHS 80s vintage effect, as well as the VHS static noise. So as you can see, 
add the bit that you want to add from the static noise. I don't want it all throughout the video, it's just going to be certain sections. Bring that on top of your clips, make sure it's fit to scale. So I'll bring it to 200. Go on opacity, go on screen, and then bring the opacity down to 35. This way it just makes it look more subtle and not in your face. It's just a little nice effect. What else I'm going to add is the VHS 80s vintage look. I feel like this is the best one you can use out of the pack that I've linked, purely because it's just more realistic in terms of the VHS look. It has the perfect little scratch at the bottom right, and it has some blip colours. As you can see, there's a hint of blue, there's a hint of green, and there's a little bit of red shadow all over the footage. So if you go on screen, it's starting to really take shape now. Last but not least, go on new item, go on adjustment layer, bring the adjustment layer below the crop bars, go on distort, wave warp. So once you've added wave warp, add the square, go on wave height to 10, width to 1000, direction to zero, and bring the wave speed to minus 0 0.5. Bring the pin in to all edges, and now you should have that wave look where the little streaks coming down your footage. And as you can see, there we have it. That's the VHS look, all done within Premiere Pro. No plugins, no nothing. Free download link below, so nothing you have to pay for. It's all done in house. Thank you so much for watching this video. That's it, it's as simple as that. It's not too complex, um, but it's very effective, especially right now. If you're not following me already, please follow my socials. This is my Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to the account. Like I said, tutorials every weekend and extra bonus videos if I can every week. For any inquiries, the email is in my description. Or if you're interested in working with me in terms of music videos or anything like that, just give my Instagram a DM because I'm most active on there and I will for sure reply to you. That's it for this time. I guess I'll see you guys next week. Today we're going to learn this effect. It's pretty simple to do. It's really easy and it'll take